With David's traumatic past, his anger issues are understandable. Nanny Stella's patient but firm approach seems to be having the right effect. You can't hit people. Not alone. While our first day with the boys came in like a lion, it went out like a lamb. Okay, everybody, come on. Time for bed. Good morning. Good morning. Sleep well. Putting the children to bed after a long day, you can feel their warmth and tenderness. Fish, I do not wish to fall. It's a blessing that these boys have found a loving home with Anne and Jim. Now that we understand these wonderful boys a bit better, the real job begins. Working with them on the new rules while handling the rigours of Anne's daily schedule, starting with breakfast. Try right, have butter, we need syrup, we need syrup, syrup, the bun, bread, yeah, oh, bread. Oh, oh. It is just unbelievable. Oh. Oh. No sooner is breakfast over than the chores begin. Who wants to help with the laundry? But it's quite a battle. We're 23 little loads worth of laundry. Constantly washing laundry, drying laundry, folding laundry. Let's go fold now. It's absolute insanity. Hunter, are you having a laugh? No, I'm not. We'd really love to see Hunter be the leader we all know he is. But for now, it's up to us. So we've decided to split up the boys to keep them busy. I decided to bring seven of the kids to the park. Paul ready to give up a turn? No. Not yet. Paul, we have to share. We're not putting sand on each other. Paul is upset. Oh, oh Jared, that's not okay. David, David. While we know that David and Jared cannot help themselves from lashing out, Paul is still upset. That wasn't nice of David. So I must calm him while keeping an eye on the wild bunch. David's not being a very good listener, is he? David, how on earth does Anne do it? Look at me! This is not going to be an easy babysitting weekend. With David and Jared, ideas like sharing and patience are difficult. So it's imperative that you're patient yourself. And as soon as we got back to the house, David and Jared began testing Nanny Stella's patience even more. No, do not get back on that bag, Jared. Nanny no, Stella Jared. really got a feel for what Anne must deal with every day. He's not going to like you bossing him around, okay? Three things at once. What problem do I deal with first? I know, I heard him. Yeah. First, Stella has to address Jared's swearing. All the people that were around and heard that really not nice language, you need to go apologise to. Okay, who else? Heard? Oh, Dylan's on the floor. Then, we'll a cranky Dylan has a meltdown. Could yeah. you take him in for me please and I'll be right there? Yeah. Oh, and finally, yeah. David steals a wheelchair and joyrides it oh. into a bush. What the fuck? David! It was me, hey, Nanny you? Stella, and there were 12 children. And I was like, oh, beam me up, Scotty. Since splitting up obviously wasn't working, later that day we set up a lemonade stand to bring everyone together as a team. So the boys will be better equipped to lighten Mom and Dad's load when they get home. Stop! Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my God! I know. Can you be patient with your brother? Thank you, Matthew. You showed great patience there. You can't be bossing each other. You've got to be a, a, a team. Okay. The teamwork also went hand in hand with chipping in. Everybody contributed. I think it really brought in the three rules nicely. You had to be patient because they tell it to wait their turn to use the cash register. So I will put the money down now. It's Jeffrey's turn. Yeah, to share, pouring out the lemonade and handing it out. Yeah, lemonade! And they also all worked together. And it was tons of fun. Yeah. Oh, good sharing! Good job, Sal. Yeah. It's great to see the boys grasping the new rules. Lemonade! Oh, yeah. 
However, the true test will come at dinner, when the boy's impatience tends to reach a boiling point. Come in. Okay, listen guys, Beautiful. we need you to sit down, we need you to be quiet. Is there any more? I'll ask you if you want Thank gravy you. on your potatoes. Mash oh, potatoes. Hold on, hold on, we're doing it. Oh, 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 my gosh. I'll bring you some chicken. You want a fork? Yeah, let me just let me just wash one off for you, okay? Everybody is demanding and wanting something at the same time. Nobody has learned any patience yet. With mean? the boys' severe attention deficit disorder, when things start getting out of control, they unravel in a hurry. And with Jim and Anne soon to return, we must get these boys working as a team again. Very, very quickly. Diving off furniture and being very disruptive. David is like a tornado. Stop it! Oh, that's a really cute touch. David decided he'd rather ride his bike than finish his dinner. This launched a major tantrum. It went from bad to worse. <laughs> Match with David. Okay, what's going on? Well, listen, listen. We were just riding back, David. Did you want to come do something else with us? 